My name is Robert Swan and I'm the founder of 2041, uh, an organisation that is out to make sure that we have the sense to leave one place alone on earth forever, the Antarctic. It's really good this. The IAE 2015 is a lot to do with energy. Looking after our world is a survival issue and we need to make looking after it a damn good business opportunity otherwise it won't last. Simple as that. You will do some walking Nothing too strenuous, don't panic. Really the hill on the eyes is a little difficult, but it's not that cold. It, uh, what is it, maybe a couple below? Just yeah. cold enough for it to freeze uh, the uh, water in the to freeze, hit you in the eye. Here we are, where the glacier used to be, and that's really frightening. But it was a pretty good uh, walk up. And leadership is also about giving and taking feedback that with your teams around the table that you really get close to each other, that you help each other, that you comfort each other, that you support each other, but that you also exchange your stories. The problem is that we've already got an energy system out there. There's a billion cars on the road. There's thousands of coal-fired power stations sitting around the world running everything. Every single expedition is entirely different because of the makeup of the team and the Antarctica always changes. The brain has taken over, it clamps the throat. Tell me, how do you stop yourself from drowning? Too late! <laughs> That's it, beautiful. I'm looking forward to it and I just hope I don't get the water phobia and I'm able to survive it. I'm <laughs> excited but I'm also a little nervous. I've never been on such a long expedition before. I am super excited. Actually, I really am super excited about the Drake Passage. I know everybody else is super scared and nervous about it. I'm just looking forward to it. <laughs> if there is any superlative above excitement, that it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now heading south, so I think we ought to give three cheers for the captain. Well, let's go! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! What I realised early on was that what I had to do was to find champions. Huge excitement, they've waited now two days in calm seas across the Drake Passage, but here we go, this is the beginning. It's our first view of Antarctica, it's icebergs that are enormous, uh, it's land and snow and the sun came out right as we pulled up and it's just incredible. Uh, I can't believe that I'm here. Another On this expedition, the team that you're with, how can we help you get where you want to be? Here we are coming into the Le Mer Channel. It's put on a real show, Antarctica, this morning. Very uh, stormy, very cold, very kind of harsh, but it's good for people to feel Antarctica as it is real. Okay. 
getting rid of uh, your life jackets, putting on your gear, and while you're doing that, I want to officially welcome you to Antarctica. You can't, you can't describe it. There are no words to describe this. It's just, we're in another planet. I don't know how to contain this excitement, but yeah, I've never seen snow before. This is the first time. I've never seen penguin in the wild before. So this is the first time. Here we are at Port Charco, day one of IA 2015. This is the real deal. People are testing and working with ropes because later in the expedition they will be doing this for real. experience this extraordinary place but at the same time we're building on skills. I hope that those people who are speaking to an international group take care not speak too quickly. camping on the ice with no tents. Once you get that set up, we'll have extra um, pads that I can give you to put on the bottom. So we've dug a hole for seven guys going tall to small. <laughs> guys and girls, sorry. Uh, we tried to level it out, which isn't easy. Built a wind wall. That's amazing. It's a great experience. I'm looking forward to it. 
We we'll move from left. desert camping to Antarctica camping. What the team will understand, this place is hard won. It was a morning for us, no sleep. I don't know from where entering our sleeping bags. It was an amazing experience for the desert people. This in particular is one of my favorite uh, reflection times. It's even more important to me now to be here for the second time. I'm even more determined that I have to go back to the message and a valid one. This place, I don't know if, if I feel if I live here forever, it will not be enough. we can help them move their careers forward to go where they want to go with their careers, with their lives, with their hopes, with their dreams, then they will really be able to or have the firepower, uh, the influence to really be able to do something about preserving Antarctica. All of you um, I hope of being paying reasonable attention to the fact that you know parts of Antarctica, the ice shelves, are now starting to disintegrate. So when people say that to you, and you're saying it to other people, this is what it would look like. Now, something we've never done before is to actually land on an iceberg. We're standing on a floating piece of ice just off of Brown Bluff. And this is a first, I think, for 2041. Certainly a first for me. And I think the highlight of this trip because it's so fragile feeling. I don't think people are inspired by getting a, a text or an email. I think they're inspired by real engagement, really going, really seeing why it's important and loving it. You will protect something that you love. We're on Deception Island here in the Antarctic and people often say, you know, has Antarctica been exploited before? Well, it certainly has. Here is clear evidence that even up to the 1930s, 
we were down here taking out whales by the thousands if not probably maybe even the millions and uh, that oil from the whales which was processed in all this facility here on Deception Island we're in Whalers Bay here The moment. greatest threat to our planet, our survival on this planet, is the belief that it's somebody else's problem. It's ours.